Hello, my name is Anthony Vadana. I was a engineer on the space shuttle in the 70s during its development. I worked in facilities. Uh, this is the plant that was being uh, where the shuttle, shuttle space shuttle was being built using uh, Palmdale. Oh, actually, it wasn't. It was in uh, it was Palmdale, and uh, we added this uh, section to the uh, the old F100 Super Saber facilities so that the tail of the space shuttle would fit. And then here's some mock-ups that's not being made there, it's probably in Downey. And uh, this guy's looking at the cockpit. This is the actual facility there. That it had uh, two bays there that could be accommodated and built on uh, the space shuttle. There's, there's a further back view so you can see the whole thing. There's another couple of, of space shuttles being made. Um, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, showed a bunch of photos that had uh, the various uh, stages of being completed. That uh, particular module there, I think, is an early version. What they did on the, the first space shuttle, they, it was it, it had two it had the pilot and co-pilot. It was it, uh, the front section could be jettisoned, and later on, they, uh, so they could be parachuted out. Later on, they got away with that feature. It was a regular space shuttle, and uh, made it better good day but they kept it. But uh, that's what it, it is. What it is. Um, Here's other views of that uh, space shuttle being constructed, and here's the cockpit there. And here's some of the crews that worked on the space shuttle in uh, Palmdale. And, uh, it was actually Palmdale was Air Force Base uh, 40, Plant 42A, and that was Site 1. And here's a space shuttle being released, and uh, here's a motor. Uh, engine from a uh, Rocketdyne uh, rocket engine. And this particular is the uh, Enterprise being released by a transport. And, it, and there's an interest, interesting story about that. What happened uh, when they they used regular airline uh, tires on that particular plane. When it finally came to a rest, the tires were almost all burnt out. So they decided to use uh, tires from a bomber instead, which is a lot more rugged. They were trying to save costs on the space shuttle, so, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. So they, they briefed it up. And here's the landing that they had, the first landing of the space shuttle. Uh, it was at Columbia, and I was a uh, privilege to be there with my family. And uh, it was really uh, pretty exciting there. We had thousands and thousands of people came down there. And this shows the, the pass to get into the uh, landing area. I think we were like a, two miles away from the landing, so it looked like a tiny, tiny ant. But there's, a, again, there's another interesting story about this particular incident. There was a bunch, of, we, we had hundreds of bikers, they decided they were going to go through to see it up close, because we were so far away. So they said, how are they going to stop all of us? There's too many of us. So uh, they took off on their motorcycles, started going across that desert. And then I heard a, we all heard a helicopter start, uh, and an Air Force chopper came over and hovered over all the bikes, got dust into all their, their motors engines, and they all conked out, and they stayed over them until they pushed their motorcycles out. They had loud speech to tell them to get out. And uh, the whole crowd cheered and clapped for the Air Force. So it was, uh, it was, a, it was a hilarious event. So you never know what you're going to see in these kind of uh, activities. But I uh, took my f family down there, and they really enjoyed themselves. Uh, there's a picture of them right there in my old van. Uh, I did side work, on, and uh, here's the actual landing of the space shuttle. It didn't look that close to us, and we were on the other, other side. So uh, it's nice uh, photos. And here's another landing site I got from a, some other person from a, another van. Here's the internals of the cockpit. It shows you some of the important features on there. And it was interesting. I thought I'd put it in there just to show what it looks like. Um, in building uh, 290 did some testing with the uh, controls and things of that nature. It was internal computers, and there's building one. They were making the cockpit section there too. And there's myself working as a facility engineer with one of the electricians, and I, my work desk there too. So I was involved a lot with, with the buildings out there. There was the war room where all the brass did all the planning and the scheduling and all the part components to put the space shuttle together. And this is building 288. They had a, a display, a one-third scale uh, space shuttle in there. In the uh, there, and here's the the DEI room in building one, and that's where the actual mock-ups are. 
and uh, these are the completed mark they're full scale and they're quite impressive if you go into that room and uh, I think my family the public was invited in certain days and so was the employees so uh, we'd go down there and take a look at all these different things that are going on there uh, it was uh, you could get in the bird and everything else so it was nice um, my kids really enjoyed themselves I enjoyed myself in that place and uh, I got to see uh, what was going on on the space shuttle itself you know there's a lot of people in that particular room here's a bay in there for the space shuttle again the mock up and they had uh, events there too so uh, here's, uh, I think this is Fred Haas going through my building but that was uh, I was building building, uh, two nights, building six and then I got an award there for exceptional employee and so did a few others for that year uh, that's because Poli there, he was giving an award. He was vice president then. And these are pictures of some of the employees that worked in uh, the space shuttle, the engineers and uh, some of the staff that they had there. Uh, not the graph people, but the professional people. And uh, uh, this uh, this is uh, the launch day uh, at the Cape. I just thought I'd put it in there. And there's a, a computer to use on the space shuttle. And one of the gal engineering gals is doing some work on the, on the cockpit. There's Sally Ryan. She was the first woman to, uh, American woman to go into space and uh, I had just a little tribute for her. Now we'll be going to Mars next so hopefully I'll be alive when that when we get there. So I'm getting to the end of my uh, video. I thank you for watching my video and thank you and goodbye. Thank you all.